Hi, my name is Krista Sievertson and I am a member of the Region 3 Assistive Technology Community of Practice and I'm here to tell you about one of my favorite new tools called MicNote. MicNote is a voice recorder and notepad. It is available on Windows, Mac, and Android devices and I use it primarily as an app within Google Chrome. It can be used online without a network connection once you have it downloaded onto your device. Things that I like about MicNote is that it works kind of like a smart pen where you can take notes and it records audio at the same time and you're able to go back and listen to your notes except that it's all on your device so it's recording while you type rather than what you write out. So for students or adults who do better with typing than with handwriting this is a great option. It's also kind of invisible, especially if you're in a space where everyone is using a device to take their notes. You can sync your notes, and I use mine through Google Drive, which makes it really easy to pick up my notes and hear them and see them from wherever I am. A couple other features are that you're able to insert um, images and PDFs. You can edit your text. You can go back and edit the audio. There's quite a few different features available. MicNote is free for recordings up to 10 minutes, but to get unlimited recording uh, and all the editing features, it's a one-time payment of $10, and I've found it to be completely worth it. I'm going to show you a little example of how MicNote works. I'm going to launch it here, and you'll see that MicNote has a pretty simple looking interface. Up here is where you will add a new note. There are all your other options to be able to import recordings. You can export your whole thing, um, print out your note. There's a lot of different options there. I'm going to start a new note and I'm going to start my recording over here by pressing the blue button and I'm going to play a, a professor who is um, giving a lecture to give an example of how this will work. World history. So today we are going to be looking at another ancient river civilization. The first lesson we talked about covered Mesopotamia, and today we're going to be talking about Egypt. Now when we think of Egypt, this is the era we're normally talking about. We've got the pyramids, we've got the gods, we've got the hieroglyphics, we've got the Nile River, we've got this really interesting period where Egypt is becoming at the height of its civilization. In fact, the height of any civilization in the world. So let's take a look at this today. Now here are the essential questions that we're going to be covering. And you can take a look at these three. The first one we're going to find out is, does a ruler have power over his subjects, or does he get his power from his subjects? It's talking about rule. And then you stop the recording by pressing the button again. Yeah. Now I can go back and listen to what the teacher was talking about when I typed those words. Notice I didn't have to type everything. It's just recording his voice and the words that I was typing at the time. So you can see how this can be a very useful note-taking device for students in the classroom. And I use it professionally when I am in uh, training or some meetings um, where I want to record what's going on um, while also taking my own notes so that I can go back and quickly listen to what was being said at the time. I hope this, is, this will be helpful for you and your students. Thank you for watching today.